unmute some um, shit. All right, we should yeah, be good to go. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I was gonna say, are you able to show like my video through Discord at all as well? Um, sure. It might be a little tough. Okay. Because no I, I would have to do like a capture. I could try. Here, let me try and set it up real quick. I mean, we're already streaming, but like, um, <laughs> let's uh. What, uh <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everyone. Yeah, what, what's up, Twitch? It's your boy Bill here with another stream. <laughs> this is a good American <laughs> accent you got there. Uh, fuck. All right, how would I do? What do you do? Window capture, video capture, audio capture, um, browser, display capture, game ca game capture, maybe? Maybe game capture. I mean, I should... can we capture um, an app? There should be like an to... application capture or something, right? Well, if you're screen capturing, you should be able to just put, can't you put, have like this little pop out Discord video window? Like Discord has a little like video pop out option and you can just put my, uh, you can put me in a corner somewhere. If I do display capture? Oh yeah, it's true. I could do display capture and then just capture my other display. All right, there we oh. go. And then let's just um, <laughs> trim you up here. Hey. There we go, let's just... Uh, so do you know the pop-out option on Discord? I don't know, but yeah, here, yeah, I think I've got it. All right, there we go. Look at this <laughs> shit. This is... Yeah, that works, that works. This is pro, dude. We are <laughs> streaming aficionados. Happy is it aficionado? Stream of the season, um, yeah, I think so. All right, there we go, that's fine. Thank there you again for tuning in. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you, as you probably guessed from the stream title, um, I just thought it'd be fun to ask Bill to mess around with my sample pack that I just released. Um, so this is a super last minute thing and I'm, I'm, I'm stoked that he agreed to just kind of mess around with it on stream. So there's no real agenda here. We're just going to see if um, there's anything that piques his interest and makes him want to um, write something with. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Someone says turn up your mic, but I think... Um, check, check, it. check. Turn up my mic? I can actually, well, I can do that. Um, I think your mic is completely coming through my system though, and, and you sound pretty loud to me already. Oh, okay. Is that too loud for you? No, Let's that's if... that's good. Okay. Yeah, mic yeah, is fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. People are just dumb. All right, let's go. Tonal. I'm gonna use some of these tonal loops. Yo, we got a new subscriber. Hi, Mr. Bill and Martin. Hope y'all are doing good today. So I want to work on something that's probably in F um, and around 150. That's very specific. Well, it's yeah, it's all the dubstep stuff. Do you have? What do you have? You don't have a lot of stuff around 150. You have some stuff around um, 70. <laughs> let me let me open the back the pack too, because I don't quite even remember what BPMs. Let I'm me see what you got. 75. Oh yeah. There's nothing like super dubby. Actually, maybe like there might be one or two loops that could be aggressive enough. This is good. Let's start with that. Can't hear the door. What? Are you kidding? Huh. Why not? Hold on. What's going on with the fucking door audio? Just <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You may have to do um, <laughs> like an audio capture for the DAW. Um, I mean, I, it was DAW? totally working earlier. Um, hmm. Yeah, let me do another one. Audio input capture. Um, <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, line I'm gonna four. turn okay. the audio so I can hear the stream as well. I think, I think it should be good now. Yeah, is that good? <laughs> I think it's really loud. Oh, it's, it's too loud, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what if I mute all of this shit and turn this down a little bit? All right. Wait. Try talking again, man. Okay. Um. I, the only reason there's echoing is because I was just trying to check out the stream just now. Okay. I think. I think we're good now. I think we got it under control, right? Is this good now? Yeah. All right. We got it. Cool. Oh, are you working in headphones, by the way? Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, tonal loops. 
Oh yeah, this base is sick. All right, so we need to get this to be 150 though is the problem. Um, but, oh man, we talked about this a long ass time ago. You can take stuff that's not in the right BPM, right? Like 124 or something like that. And you can shift it by not that much to make it like a syncopated um, version of 150. Uh, oh. How would you do that though? So so the, the math would be something like 150 divided by four times three or something. So 112, which is, well, 112 and a half, which is much closer to 150, uh, sorry, to 124 than 150. People thought this was going to be a production stream, but we're actually just here to do math. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh, we're just doing math for an hour. Um, hey, Bill, could you turn down the, um, the dot just a little bit more? It sounds like people think it's still quite a bit louder uh, yeah louder than i'll just turn my master places. down by like negative six okay i'll just keep uh checking to see if right. uh if the chat thinks that things are okay okay cool all right okay, okay. someone says nice perfect all right great nice let's not touch oh, yeah. anything including the sample pack we're done <laughs> don't touch it it's perfect boom right. dude I, I like being right below you i can like i can like point at you and and bother you from below uh, fuck yeah. All right, jamming. We got a 92 BPM Vicoda loop. Let's warp it. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you, do you like mostly use, uh, using loops when you go through sample packs? Is that? So, I mean, prefer? right now I'm just trying to get an idea going, I guess. And then from there I'll start to like, re like subtract stuff from it and add different mm. things and whatnot. For sure, gotcha. Uh, I gotta turn my cue down as well, I suppose. One shots. What have we got here? Oh yeah, that thick one shot's good. Yeah, let's chuck one of those in a sampler. And then tune the sampler to F. Oh man, so I have this rack. Um, check this shit out. Uh... Did you just say shit on stream? This is like PG-13. Can't, can't say shit on stream. My bad. Um, I'm, I'm joking. You can <laughs> say whatever you want. Okay. Check out this uh, rhythm yoink rack I made. You just put it on anything and it makes stuff sound like this. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. So I'll take your riff and then every now and then replace one of the notes with a yoink. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like this note here, let's mute it and then replace it with a dun. <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I was in your studio right now and could just like play some keys in the background, that'd be sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> On my shitty Max 49. I don't discriminate. Okay, we need to get these things mixed a little better so it doesn't sound all out of whack. Dun. So basically I'm gonna hock it like random notes here to make this sound more like, or less of a loop. Sure, sure. Oh, this is cool. This, um... These yoinks are a little too yoinky. <clears throat> yeah, they, they're definitely like, seems like a good way to get an accent uh, note in here and there, or just a little bit of variation. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. It's such a like first world gripe. Like, my yoinks are too yoinky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alternatively, we can just record you saying yoink and put it in there. Pretty good. Um, I'm gonna freeze and flatten these. So we have these in audio and then maybe cut the fronts off. Yeah, there we go. I like getting the artifacty end bits of samples like that. Yeah, that's nice.
interesting. Kind of giving it a metallic texture. It's nice. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of the same riff, but with yeah weirder textures and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I kind of want to keep the tail of what you have over here. So. Yeah, let's try that. All right, yeah, I need some more like effects stuff. Let's go effects. Um, oh, a drill one shot. Oh yeah, pops. So these are actually, um, these pops and like stabs and shit like that, they're really good for actually layering on bases usually. Um, mm. So for instance, like this one here, the, it doesn't really have a transient. So you could layer a sap on it like that. Yeah, totally. I kind of usually use them as like little um, filler sounds, like almost like just like a percussive uh, peripheral thing or something. But I've seen you do some pretty cool stuff with those kind of sounds, actually. Um, well, someone just donated an elite amount of money. You stop say hi about Wednesday. Thanks for the season. Thank you guys so much for the subs and the donations. Very much appreciated. Save them for when I actually start streaming again, though. <laughs> it's the last one of the season, unfortunately. Oh, you have seasons of streams? That's just what I've been calling them. I've just, like, naturally gone through, like, phases where I've just streamed a lot, and then I'll take a break. Oh. Um, and I wanted to do one final stream for you know, the current season that I'm on, I guess. Mm, right. Um, Uh, hmm. So we need to like remove some shit. Maybe you remove <laughs> this one. Yeah, and then put like a different thing on the end, like maybe a tonal. <laughs> All right, what are we on F minor? Yeah, if you. Maybe like one of those resolving chords. Most okay. most of the loops are not written around like anything particularly aggressive. So mm -hmm. if that's a style you're going for. Oh well, yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just use a womp chord. Um, what's that? E major. So what do we need? Uh, sorry, E flat major. So we need to go up to. Dude, this takes me so long to work out. I, I have to like count it on my fingers. It shouldn't be like, all right, E, F. <laughs> right there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's E flat major. Oh, that's good. Sounded pretty cool. I like that could sound cool in the downbeat too. Um, or we could chuck it in a simpler, chuck this thing on slice mode and just cut around a bunch. Ooh. Let's see. Except it needs to go what up yeah. three two semitones. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Great idea. I already love it. Mm, sick. Really cool. Hmm. All those chops sound cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, needs OTT. Actually, it needs not OTT. <laughs> <laughs> Not what the OTT. hell is not OTT? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's not OTT. Is it just, just and then Disperser OTT. Yeah, it just makes shit louder, basically. Alright, that's 
pretty cool. What if we go down an octave now? Oh, that's weird. Man, I'm happy to see you using Disperser as well. That's such a cool plugin. Oh, yeah. So did you know you can make Disperser out of um, Ableton native plugins? And I did it using um, mm -hmm. nothing but EQ3. So if you have a look at this, it's just a shitload of EQ3s. Um, <clears throat> it does the same thing. Because um, wow. the way EQs work is, uh, well, the way EQ, all EQs work is um, they use phase cancellation to take away frequency. So if you want to take away, say, um, can I turn off these notifications? Yeah, here, let me let me do that. All right. I was actually going to ask about that, but I didn't want to <laughs> interrupt you. Yeah, no worries. Um, so if you if you want to like remove one decibel of 500 hertz or whatever from a signal, you send one decibel of 500 hertz back into the um, EQ and then put it out of phase with itself, right? And that's how it removes one decibel of that frequency range. So because of these splits, it like introduces phase issues. And if you just put shitloads of them next to each other, those phase issues uh, add up and then you end up with an all pass filter, the same as disperser. That's wild. I did not know about that. We need a fat, wompy bass. Let's unfreeze this. It's so much fun seeing you to play around with the sounds because <laughs> obviously you're using them in ways that I wouldn't have thought to use them, which is kind of the point of a sample pack in a way, I guess. Right, yeah, totally. Yeah, I can't wait to see how people use my pack when, when I finally finish it. Yeah, man. Is this You've done sample packs before or no? Yeah, man, I have like 20 of them out on Splice. Holy um, shit. Yeah, I've been releasing sample packs for years. So a lot of sample packs. could uh, just have this loop do that thing and then have the tail be different over here that's sounding nice cool yeah maybe like some oh you know honestly i should probably get some side chaining happening just so this doesn't stay sounding all fucked up i feel like um once you get stuff like just mixed a little bit it's so much more inspiring to listen to mm -hmm. so i try to do that pretty early in the process um absolutely so, yeah so. i mean especially like are those lcd x's yeah what are they uh, yeah i mean I feel like you hear every single mix fallacy in those headphones so it's like pretty frustrating to not hear a mix well mixed song yeah those headphones for sure. Okay, so I think um you had a hi hat loop in here, right? That was just like yeah, this. Okay, so let's use that instead. And then I'm gonna cut the kick and the snare out of this loop. Sure. And put it in drum rack. I think there might be better snares in the one shots for you to explore as well. <coughs> if okay. you're already committing to different one shots, but um I feel like these totally are pretty mental. nice. Yeah, if you like it, then just keep using it. Yeah, I could maybe change them later. All right, that's pretty much the beat. So get rid of this. And then set up an external instrument to send MIDI to the group. And then set this up to have ducking. Oh, mm. yeah. oh is this how you do your side chaining? Yeah. <laughs> This is a little quiet now.
base. What is this stuff? Ah, it's the yoinks. <laughs> oh yeah, let's chuck those on the one. And then these are nothing. Too loud. Is that just a freeze of the um, original loop sound with that processing that you, the processing uh, group you had? Yeah. Gotcha. I feel like. Yeah, let's just chuck these on the ones. getting there what do you got in the way of uh what you got in the way of chords here you could um there's this uh only I melody uh version I three to uh, the close to the top place. that you might be able to Real use life. um but that's not that's a melody not a chord this thing the o1 version three explorer only melody oh yeah all right let's just try and raw dog it in here <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's going to fit what you're looking for. That could be good. Probably not. What if we chop it into 16ths? Ooh. That's wild. That's a cool idea. That's cool. Mm. I like that. Process it a bit. Maybe some verb. Mm. I'm gonna put this back here. Oh man, I'm fucking hot. I'm gonna take this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> so all of a sudden realized I'm like sweaty. Strip stream. Yep. Yeah, getting the uh the meat sweats. How much of your creative decision making would you say is like just experimenting and accidental stuff versus intentional? Well none none of this is intentional because I like I've never even, like, I don't know, I'm trying to limit myself to just using these samples and stuff, right? So. Yeah, yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah, it's pre pretty much mostly accidental, which is, I kind of like that, like the whole explorative process. Oh. I feel like this lead would be super cool, like really distorted. Mm. Do I have that? No, I don't have that installed. Oh, I have Ahi's amps. He has some cool amps. Um, this multiband amps thing. Hmm, that is pretty interesting. And chuck a bunch of soothe on here to get rid of the resonances. We freeze that's a good it, idea. Freeze it and pitch it down. Yeah, that's normally used for vocal processing, right? Soothe? Um, you can cool. use it for anything, really. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, true. I could, um, it's just sounding super haywire, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you want with it, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm just enjoying watching you work. It's awesome. Yeah, 
Uh, so I feel like it could be better if it was simpler, actually. If it could it'd just go like... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, dun, that's dun, cool. Like just one note. Yeah, totally. So I basically mean getting rid of all of this stuff. <laughs> So then this would need to be a different note. Could actually loop this over it as well. And we could loop this too. <laughs> Why does that sound like it's panned to the left? <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, weird. The left is all sub, and then the right is all this metallic shit. <laughs> That's super weird. Right. That's really weird. Let's use that as sub, I guess, for this, and then, and then let's just use these as like highs. And we actually probably don't even need this channel. This sounds kind of cool. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of some percussion stuff here and sort of just... So this is kind of my process, right? It's like make shit that doesn't really make a lot of sense and then simplify everything once there's mm -hmm. like one inkling of sense making thing going on <laughs> and then i just totally. like concentrate a lot on that one thing that that sort of makes sense to me mm -hmm. um all right let's get rid of this yeah and then try and like make that the song like once the song kind of presents itself start to just do that wait music seems like so much fun when you can just play around like these two gents do <clears throat> Well, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> like Mr. Bill, <laughs> the one controlling the doll right now. So. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I think um we could get more of these choppy boys in here. The like sample things. <laughs> Yeah, some of those slices sound really cool. I feel like um, this should be sick if it was also like kind of distorted, like the um, <clears throat> like this thing that we just distorted, the um, the mm -hmm, the, the loop thing. Yeah, like add highs to it. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. What if we high pass it? Mm -hmm. Or band pass it? So one thing I've noticed lately is putting filtering right at the start of like a really complex processing chain is pretty sick because mm. then like you band limit the signal a lot and then depending on where that band limit is, it like affects the processing chain a lot. Totally. It's kind of like the, the idea behind neuro-based processing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's cool. That's just like wide and a ton. 200%, let's go. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better actually with um just reverb. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that distortion actually. Maybe uh, <laughs> Haywire is like the younger brother watching his older brother play games on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
That um, analogy works for me. <laughs> Maybe we could use this um, melodic loop as the highs and just sort of pitch it to match the cuts. Like this. And then that could sort of behave as the high frequency element for this thing. Mm. That's a cool idea. Is this a tempo that you've been writing a lot recently? <clears throat> yeah, and the reason why is because it's mostly what I DJ, so I kind of want stuff that I can play. So I wonder if we I've got some other bass chugs in there too if you want to throw any other, any other sounds in there, but... I don't want to overwhelm you with suggestions or anything either. Um, I'm down for suggestions. Yeah, let, I'll I'll, uh, I'll check them out in a second. Yeah, no rush. Should probably not be in the sidechain group because it's kind of percussive. <clears throat> and then I think um the hi hats should be sort of half the time that they were like. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so it's kind of like a six, like A B A B sort of thing, where it's like quarter, uh, quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth, um, mm. whatever the fuck that is. Mr. Bill's keyboard should be like a table, completely flat. So much clicks per minute, yeah. It is a <laughs> pride a snare at the end of the loop, yeah, we can do that. All right, bass chugs, you say, where are they at? Oh yeah, so let me tell you. Um, so I think it's, so it's tonal, um, then I think it's under, there's stuff under one shot. Yeah, all these things. Um, yeah, there's one specific one that I thought would be kind of cool for what you're doing. But feel free to snag whatever you want. I think it's the F chugger. I think we're okay. working in F anyways too, right? Yeah. All right, let's try the F chugger. The chug chug. All right, it's not in time though, so we're gonna have to need to stretch it. You could also just like isolate a single hit or something. Yeah, like chuck it in a sampler or something. Yeah, because I, I just remember you were doing like that that pattern, which uh, made me think of this sound. Mm. Is that sixteenths? The dun 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 dun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this would be good for like um, the middle range of the sound. You could also use it as a variation if you wanted. Like the first one could be what you already had, and that could be the second one or something. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Or we could distort it. <laughs> and then add space to it with Ubic A. Sounds kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, what do you have in the way of percussion? Oh, kicks. 
Yeah, let's maybe replace the kick and the snare. Oh, actually, more so the snare, I think, actually. Mm. It's a pretty decent sounding snare. Let's try that. Gracias. I find those snares with really weird spells like that are often really hard to use. Kind of cool. I also kind of want to take um, some of the percussion from this first beat we had. Yeah, just these ch -ch -ch. <laughs> the little sure, yeah. hi hat things, and then just remove the the drums that were there. Oh yeah, and we can keep a little reversey thing. Mm. And actually take these out. Actually, get rid of these. I'm grooving right now. on doing a switch up for that um that measure starting at 12. <clears throat> yeah so like an a, a and b type yeah. pattern or something for sure yeah cool. yeah it needs something let's try a different snare there That's kind of cool. Um, it is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to try and layer that with Foley to make the snare like even more interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bottle pour. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. You could even use that as the 16th note pattern as well at some point if you wanted. Bottle pour. <laughs> yeah, I said, what a bottle whore. <laughs> oh, that sounds wet. Yeah, that's nice. Right, let's lay a more foley. Yeah, mouth pop. Let's go. Mm hmm. Maybe paper. That's a pretty cool oh, frig. It's nice, uh, nice noise on the snare. Yeah, it's a, that's a nice texture to it. Oh, we could do the classic Jack U thing. So you put like um uh whatever what do you call it? Fucking whatever, a sound. And then delay it by a certain amount. Um, 
How do like you delay one at the starting point or? Yeah, so you can put like just a delay right on um on a sound, and then you turn the dry weight up to a hundred percent, and you put it on time, oh, right. time mode, and then just have it play like I don't know, 40, 40 milliseconds later or something like that. Totally. And then you get that kind of blah like the Jack U sounding sort of thing. Definitely like a slap back. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I see what you're saying now. Like a double transient almost or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try like a filter on this. Yeah, and then this one needs to be different, right? Uh, instead of yeah, I thought definitely maybe it gets like more melodic there. That's kind of like the typical yeah. kind of beat pattern that you hear in in, in dubstep mm -hmm. or bass music in general, I guess, like halftime bass music. Yeah. So what um would you suggest if we're in F? Like, what else can we use other than any of the F minor stuff here? Well, yeah, I mean, I, guess, I mean, you've been manipulating these sounds so well. I feel like you could pretty much throw anything that. Um, sounds appealing to you in there and just pitch it until it's got the right um, the right chord probably not one of those yeah. well this seems like um, it would work yeah I mean just oh that's kind of cool actually yeah, that works. Um, nice. Dude, see, this is this is exactly why I I was like so stoked about seeing you play around with these sounds. Like I never would have thought, I never like would have thought of having that sample there. Yeah, and then it goes dun 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Dun dun dun. All right, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. And then what's this one? Yeah, do, do, do. EQ. And probably auto pan and then chop it so it kind of fits the rhythm of the other stuff. That's a cool idea. And then OTT. <laughs> It's not OTG, actually, just OTG. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, yeah, but it's like got some different settings and stuff. But yeah, it's it's derived <laughs> from the same thing for sure. Shouldn't you just call it no TT? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't I think of that? Uh, 
oh there's trigger yeah okay let's trigger something else here instead of this sound cool then maybe this should also have that auto pan thing on it so it goes one more bam definitely so just for this hit and auto pan is always so out of time that's one of the reasons why I tend to do that kind of stuff just within the BSD patches themselves if I can, but yeah, it's such a fun tool to throw on stuff. That's cool. Maybe this as well. God damn it! I'm just gonna do this with utility. Screw it. <laughs> Boom bat. So what do we want this? But then, oh, here, here's the real galaxy brain strat. Let's draw sine waves. There we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. That's uh, some FL Studio shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sounds pretty cool. Alright. Speaking of FL, I see you got that in your uh, in your taskbar. Yeah, I was messing around with it for a little bit. Um, and I found it pretty frustrating, to be honest. So what if we put all of these distorty plugins on this melodic loop up here? Hmm. God, they're so out of time. <laughs> and have an octaved version. Mm. That's a cool idea. And just turn the octave one down. What do I use VS Code for? Um, learning that I'm dumb. <laughs> Good to have ways to remind yourself of that. Yeah. Whenever I'm feeling too good about myself, I open VS Code. <laughs> And whenever I'm feeling too bad about myself, I look up a picture of a micro penis on the internet. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Pro strats with Mr. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, just cut out that last one and maybe mm -hmm. crank, yeah, sounds cool. crank this last one a little bit so it's a little louder. This bass is not really doing anything. I'm just going to turn it off. <laughs> or we could go burnt gonk. Yeah. Don't. 
could make it real slappy by maybe putting a band pass filter on it and doing some like mm. wow. <laughs> yeah, that stab is kind of weird. That's kind of cool. Pretty good. Yeah, it needs some uh, OTT. But <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting better. Maybe louder. transient shape of before the filter and then turn the envelope up. Mm. Hmm. Is that your, uh, is that your kind of go-to transient shaper? Yeah, I like it because it's just dead simple. Have you used the, uh, um, Native Instruments one before? Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, it's called like, uh, it's just called like Transient Shaper, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I've used that. I don't have it installed currently though. I have it though. Yeah, it looks First of all, we need to like get some sort of build thing going. What do you have in the way of build stuff? I definitely didn't put any kind of risers and that kind of stuff in there. Do you have any sweeps? Nope, unfortunately. Well, that could be a sweep. <laughs> Alien Just door step. Re reverse it and put it to texture mode or something for warping. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Extend it to like a million BPM. Yeah, that's a <laughs> totally. Yeah, just, just crank it and put it on texture. <laughs> it's such a weird sound. I for Whoa! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh shit! That sounds cool. <laughs> Um, all right, yeah, we could we could maybe work with that. Let's um open up the envelope mode and just adjust the ground size like, over time. Sounded like a cat getting abducted or something. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's actually that actually kind of works. Yeah, let's just verb it out. <laughs> that made me laugh a lot more than it should have. <laughs> okay, let's move this back here. Maybe, um, uh, it needs to like stop right before it drops, kind of thing. Yeah. What, what if it? you had um like an auto pan on it to make it more rhythmic as well or something? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm gonna move this back. Just a thought. If the backseat producing is annoying you, just let me know. No, no, it's not at all. I'm gonna put also endless smile on it. Have you seen this thing? Endless smile. <laughs> 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 it's like literally just for making rises. 
It's so funny. So you just automate it up like that. The design on that is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Hmm, should probably turn this down a bit. I don't know about that like whistle thing. It's kind of. <laughs> um, I could just like fade it in, maybe. Mhm. Mm Cause that's what it sounds like at the beginning, right? And then it kind of. And then let's turn this riser up. on this beat to go doom. A hi hat. Actually maybe a small hi hat. Ding. But then a little reverse one into it. Yeah, that's cool. And then I it. like a fill or something. With which there's shitloads of fills. I'll just use like any any random tonal thing in the shit. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Stretch this to 150. <laughs> <laughs> and then what is that? A, a flat minor? Alright, ready. Watch this. Watch my brain work here. Alright. Uh, a minor. <laughs> a sharp minor. <laughs> B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Did we do it? Is, did I even get it right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude, that is like, my brain is, is like a 2005 Dell laptop <laughs> when it comes to working out what key something's in. <laughs> oh, that's actually way better. Um, Yeah, here, what I'll do is... Uh, have this stop like a bar earlier and let this whole tonal loop play because it's pretty cool. Totally. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, so we just need to like allude to that this thing is going to come in otherwise it's going to sound way too sudden so i think um dun, 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 dun. yeah so I, th I think if i just sort of loop these dun, 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 like this yeah and then just filter those in like this And then it needs a build up. So let's go get um, another drum rack going over here. You could also throw the downbeat of that um, little fill on the downbeat of the uh, of the current drop as well. Um, oh, the... You mean just um, I don't know. like this chord here though? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just yeah, that's yeah, true. I don't know. Yeah, that's great. Um, maybe no lows though. Yeah, Already lows. quite a few lows in, in the track. Honestly, sounds fine with them, so I'm just gonna leave them. Right. Build up time. All right, where is it? Percussive, one shots, kicks. Alright, the clock kick should be pretty good. 
Yeah. Or actually, we probably don't want a kick. It's more of a snare that we want. Maybe this oomph snare. is better actually <clears throat> and we'll pitch this up over time to like plus 12 or something oh yeah that works too I like how the pitchy snare sounds actually in that intro. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Um, I, just, I think it just needs to be filtered. Mm -hmm. Just filter this the whole time. Like this. Yeah, and then have this kind of go from top to bottom. Probably shouldn't do it on the next one. Oh, we could also put endless smile on this bass thing and have it like kind of go from top to bottom as well. So that'd be kind of cool. Still not sold on the snare. It needs to be more of a clap, actually. Do you have claps? Mm -mm. I don't have any. Uh, I've oh, got yeah. some claps in there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna fit what, they're, what you're looking for, but. Most of them are a bit like messy. They're not like tight one shots. I think this will work. Let's go back to pitchy snare. <laughs> Alright, then what if we put OTT on the, the fill? <laughs> Just OTT on everything. Maybe you could have um, one of the like tonal one shots on that snare hit or something. The first. Snare. Let's try no TT. <laughs> I do hope you rename that. <laughs> What's that? I do hope you uh, rename it that. 
Yeah, I can do it now. Here we go. Rename to uh, no TT. <laughs> there you go. And then I'll save this as a preset. Yep. And delete this one. There we go. <laughs> You think we should sort of filter this in too? That could be cool as well. And then, oh yeah, I haven't saved this. It's still on untitled. <laughs> I should probably <laughs> save this. I mean, luckily Ableton is fairly good um, with like crash crash project files. In my experience, I think the only stuff you usually lose is like settings for EQs and VSTs in general. I guess right. Yeah. Like automation and stuff like that, it saves, I think. and mm -hmm. Yeah, and like where samples should go and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, maybe it's like, oh, phrase, here we go. Let's get one of your phrases in, in him too. Oh, that's basically the same thing that's going on here. Um, all right, so let's go 160. All right, here we go, B flat minor. <laughs> oh, God. C. <laughs> Is it B? Yeah, B flat, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, six. Is that right? <laughs> there we go, seven. I, go. I almost got it. That's cool. So even though it's like in the same key, it might be like a little bit too much happening if there's like two of those melodies simultaneously. It actually sounds kind of cool though as well. Yeah, like if we filter it in, it's like Bobby Tank, like maximalism. Bobby Tank. Yeah, you remember Bobby Tank? Yeah, I loved his music, man. Or I still do. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, because I'm filtering the other one in, though, you know, so it's like kind of makes a bit of sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know what also could be cool is put convoluta on this. Um, fuck, convoluta. Here we go. Yeah. Huh. So it's all spectral and messed up. Totally. It sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun to see you experiment with these. Alright, there's so much on this first accent now that it sounds really like hefty <laughs> and it sounds mm -hmm. good, but then the other ones sound weak in comparison. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, look, there's like five layers, uh, six layers here, mm -hmm. um, which is like a ton. It is. Versus <laughs> this one is just four mm -hmm. layers. So I think I need to find more stuff to lay on this. Yeah, you could even extend that um, that melodic loop and try to find another downbeat from it to use or something. Could even just use this, but then cut it. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let me chuck this in here. What do you got? I love the lab, it's like that. 
Yeah, <laughs> just little like hockets where everything else mutes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Can maybe do a little reverse into this. <laughs> It's cool. It can sound more natural if it's lower in pitch though. <clears throat> Sounds pretty cool. I feel like it'd be cool to have something on some of the snare hits, like some kind of something melodic or other bass sound or something. Um, on this first bass hit? Um, I was thinking about the, uh, the, the snare hits, but, um, oh, yeah. Out ideas. yeah, it's a good idea. Um, like a chord or something? Yeah, a chord could be cool. Uh, anything, really. So, C sharp minor will work in F, sharp, F minor, right? Is that... How this works? C sharp minor? No, I don't know. Um, you you could do C minor in F minor. Okay, so just, um, this chord will just work because that's C minor, right? Um, yeah, you, you that that entire first measure sounds like it's pretty much playing F, but I'll just experiment with it and see if it works or not. Just throw it in there. You can always just pick it down seven to my tongue. I should use slice actually. That's cool. It was actually kind of fun trying to come up with names for some of these loops. <clears throat> yeah, coming up with names for samples is good. That sounds pretty cool, actually. TT on there. <laughs> That's a bit better. It would be better actually just. Yeah, it's pretty good, but then filtering so it sounds more smooth. so sick hold on i got an idea yeah You have a vocal stab um the semitone up from that in that uh 12.1.3 area would be cool so it goes mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah you, mean, you mean to have like another um, vocal stab hit that note uh, before it. Yeah, here, I'll show you. So, um... yeah. those, are, those are chords. I think if you want like a. There's some vocal one shots that could work too if you want. One, two. But if you want like words, you probably could go into the phrases and try to re pitch those. Four. Something like that. And we could put pitch drop on the end of this. You ever use this thing? Pitch drop. What? Oh, did we just disconnect from the internet? What? <coughs> what the hell just happened to Discord? Oh no. I think uh this Discord may have just broken. Let me check my internet real quick. I know, internet's working. Um let me <coughs> try and restart Discord real quick. Is anyone else's Discord broken? Or is it just my Discord? <laughs> Discord works for you, huh? Yeah, Discord is, is not working for me. Basically, all I'm getting is this... Um, <clears throat> where it's just like on this loading screen. I can like quit it and try reopen it. <laughs> Update failed. Huh, just keep saying update failed. Um, we could chat Martin on like Skype or something. Force closing task manager, all right. Okay, f end task. Still saying update failed. Uh, yeah, here let's um, I'll start a Zoom call and we can chat in Zoom. What? Unable to connect Zoom as well. What the fuck? How are both broken? How are both of these broken but my internet's working? I mean, how can it be my ethernet? If it was my ethernet, the stream also wouldn't be working. Oh, my internet speed is experiencing high demand. Huh. My Dropbox isn't open. Let me just quit a bunch of shit. Oh, wait, are you back? I think so. Can oh, you yeah. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, weird. All right. It's very weird. Cool. Okay, sick. Um, I just need to, like, figure out your camera thing again. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I got to share my screen. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> what What happened? The Discord just... I don't know. Crashed, oh, there right? we go. You're back. Um, yeah, Discord just crashed for some reason. Pretty weird, but uh, seems like everything's fine again. Yeah, that uh, that chop is really kind of really cool. Yeah, feel free to use that um that the vocoder like a vocoder cord or something. I know, I know you're messing around with those. I wasn't trying to steer you away from that or anything. I feel like this is sounding pretty cool. Cut the ends off these a little bit.
What do you think about, um, I've got a sound that actually could sound kind of nice layered with that snare hit and the sample that's on there as well. Um, I'm just kind of curious if you don't mind throwing uh, the tonal uh, one shot. I think it's four. Uh, a minor, amazingly serene. Like, um, yeah, I was thinking like yeah. something sparkly kind of hitting in the background with that snare would be kind of cool. Like that? That sounds cool too. I was imagining it hit, happening on the uh, that snare hit where uh, you have the samples, the 18 Haywire samples hitting. Um, but... Oh, da, 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 da. so like, like that? One of the, um... Oh, that's cool too. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. And then if we just like filtered it in, so it's kind of like, sort of, I don't know, it reminds me of like Freddy Toto or something. So I need to make this longer now. Let's make the one on this hit a little different again. So like tonal loops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good loop, to be honest. Uh, nice. 80. <laughs> <laughs> so then I think um this next time around, instead of just having sort of the one bar of melodic tail, it should have two bars of melodic tail. Yeah, that could be cool. <laughs> oh, that chord thing is sweet. On the second note, the that like the the major third is that what that is? Or I think it's a minor third actually. Yeah, it's sick. Mm -hmm. Sounds like somewhat dissonant almost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let here. Let's go. A A <laughs> A sharp B C C sharp. D, D sharp, E, F, five. Someone should make a compilation of you. Nine. Calculating. That's still <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm so bad with music. Yeah, come on. Nobody's going to believe <laughs> that. Cool. Yeah, it's nice with the reverb. Maybe mm -hmm. yeah, some other layer as well. Oh yeah. Oh, we already used that. Yeah, let's try this maybe. <laughs> We're gonna end up using every loop I have in this pack. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll try them all for sure. <laughs> Mr. Bill over here, like, A, B, C, D, uh, H minor. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I don't 
It used to be more in German, just like a chord. Sorry, what? I was just gonna say in German, B is actually called H for some weird reason. B is like H? Of, yeah, like B minor is H minor for some reason in German. That's. I don't know why they do it like that. Yeah, it's super weird and confusing. <laughs> I just use this chord. Oh yeah, that is a major though, I think. But there's probably like a relative major thing going on, right? Yeah, like that. You could tell it me that too. Yeah, that's weird. I like uh, I like how kind of like clear cut the sampling nature of the of the uh, sketches that you're making right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this could be actually really sick if it's just like, yeah, I'll just delete all this stuff. All the other stuff around it? Or? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. And then sort of just duplicate all the 16th note beat stuff. So this is this is an F minor right now, right? Uh, it's impossible to say. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> I love it. I was gonna say like you can have um, I was kind of hearing like maybe you have for the first loop that you ha um that fifth line you have an A flat major. And the second time it comes around, you have a, a B flat minor. But it might be kind of hard to pick those out of the out of the loops, like those specific chords. Mm. Actually, if you could pitch that chord up by one, two, three, four, five semitones. See, even you count. <laughs> Shh! Nobody <laughs> heard that. Counting is normal. <laughs> it's probably be better in a sampler because then I can just like sort of easily scrub around. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We need like one of those classic anomaly, like altered dominant things at the end. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, I've got some MIDI with those in it. I don't know if I have any loops, like audio loops with them. Could I just use something from like a weird key and it would maybe have the same effect? Um, you could you could do like a um, major chord on F sharp. That would kind mm. of give it a little bit of a jazzy feel. A major. Um, so F sharp major. F sharp major. Okay, is is there anything in F sharp major here? There isn't, but you can pitch something kind of how you've been pitching it to. Oh the yeah. F sharp major. Okay. Yeah, like you could take that major chord and then just pitch it to be F sharp. Um, so E flat, F major. F sharp. Is that right? E. Yeah, it'll give it. A, it'll give it a little bit of a spice. So if it's E flat right now, it would have to be three half steps higher. 
Yeah. That's right. Um, yeah, that was it. I can never do it. Sorry. It'd be kind of fun to try to do some do something weird with that synth line. Because to me, it sounds obvious that it's like a sped up loop or something. Do you uh, feel yeah. that way? Or... Yeah, but I kind of like it because it's like dumb ravey vibes. <laughs> yeah, There's this yeah. plugin called Rave Generator. I don't have it installed, but it's so sick. Um, uh, also, Ahi has some like rave things. Um, mm. Yeah, usually I lean into dumb sounding things like that <laughs> and try to make them work. Totally. Reminds me of something that could be in like an Eiffel. What is that group called? Eiffel 65? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eiffel 65, yeah. Yeah. What other groups are there out there that wrote stuff like that? Oh, Gigi D'Agostino. He wrote stuff like that too. I didn't think I know that one. But we we could uh, do this. What's, what's this? F. Okay, so F, F sharp. <laughs> And then like pitch this up. Maybe we should do sampler so I can go twelve semitones. Hmm, that sounds weird. <coughs> Vicoda could be cool if we do like the modulator mode thing and then put mm. the band. Yeah, it might be better slower actually. Like I almost like that as a loop on its own too. It's pretty cool. Just like repeating. Um well, I just think it sounds cool. I'm cool. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, repeating. It needs bass under it and stuff, so Man, I should really put this sub in a sampler too, <laughs> to be honest. And just sort of like <laughs> making this way harder on myself by not doing that. <laughs> Pretty cool to have you see uh, to see you sketch all of this from the ground up though. put this utility on it. Yeah, thanks man, I appreciate it. Yeah. What the heck? Is that the bass What's that? I didn't I didn't realize that that was the bass on. Yeah, it's trying to be the bass on. If I can get it in key. Mm hmm Yeah, nice good. No, no. I'll just do it in here. I think, it's a, I think the bass note is A flat for that last note. It's I'm gonna be sure, way easier, I think, if I do it with a saw wave and then just um, transfer it back. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, 
I think that's it. Oh, but now this is like out of tune. Oh yeah, I guess it is C sharp actually. Sounds so bad. <laughs> Doesn't have the effect that I'm looking for. The other thing I do sometimes is just look at where the fundamental is in the chord. So like um, it's uh at, and this is better to do in Pro Q actually because it has the keyboard in it. So you just look at the fundamental, which is like here. And then you just look down on the keyboard at what that is, which is a C sharp. <laughs> and then you look down here and it's a A sharp. Oh, so it's C sharp, a -sharp. B flat, A flat then. It's a, um, wait, it's not C sharp, A sharp. A C sharp, um, B flat and then A flat, I think, is what I thought I was hearing. B... B flat, um, and an A flat. Yes, yeah, so a B flat is A sharp, right? Wait, am I am I saying um, C sharp, B flat, A flat? I don't know if that's what I was saying. Wait, B flat is A sharp. Yeah, down. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh, this is so wrong. <laughs> I'm just gonna raw dog this with Pro Q2. Okay, wait. So the issue is that you're just trying to like have the sampler that's um that contains my bass patch to play those bass notes, right? Yep. Um, right. So um, let's see. The loop is an F minor. Uh, so I think the first note is actually an F. So I, obviously you can't like trust the. You'd have to repitch the original to be C so that that MIDI actually works. If that makes oh, sense. Oh yeah, good point. Um, all right. So what I'll do is, and this is how I usually do this. I just uh, put an operator next to the to the sampler in the same rack and just put a saw wave on and then just play it like this. Um, let's see here. too you can just do it by ear yeah that's how i usually do it oh yeah okay so what do you think it is f Sorry, what's up? you think it's f uh, so i think the i think the chords are um or the root note would be c sharp I'll just stick to sharps. So it'd be C sharp to A sharp to G sharp. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. You know, maybe I should um, make a dedicated sub for this song. That could work too. Yeah, I was trying to like stick to just using samples. No, no, yeah, don't don't feel obliged to do that at all. I'm not a huge fan of the G sharp chord though. Yeah, we can change that. I mean originally what I was thinking is actually F sharp happening there. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. F sharp. All right, let's try that. So, so it'd be F sharp major. Ah, um. oh, gotcha. Yeah. I'm not sure how to yeah. So I need to find something that's in 
Oh, I could just scroll to another chord, maybe. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. Good. Just it. Mm. Yeah, maybe that chord isn't the best there either. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, sounds kind of out of key. Oh. Yeah. Um, That's good though. Somebody cheered. Oh hey, I still had a few of these left. Viewers talk, viewers talk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go replace the subs in the rest of the tune real quick. Sure. Um, I just realized that I could give you a listen to um, Link, and I could like play piano, um, and you'd be able to hear it on your end. Oh, what? That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, let's Let me see that. if I can. Uh, Cause then, then I, instead of like trying to describe chords and stuff, I could uh, just play them. Huh? Yeah, um, that's a good idea. Session name. Yeah, I'll link to the Discord. Oh, this sounds so much better with good sub. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, let me just do this real quick with the subs. Yeah, mm -hmm. all good. Yeah, so it's just this last chord. Um, I could also just get rid of this and just put some random shit on there, like um. Totally. Just get a whole new loop going. Totally. That could work too. Yeah, just this maybe. Yeah. Just cut to random stuff in it. Bam. <laughs> Yeah, so I think if we take these two chords and then just hock it stuff in the middle of it. Um, so, like the phrases, maybe? Yeah, like just cut random phrases in between. Yeah, like <laughs> guitar, like. Oh, funny. Oh yeah, little chugger. That's cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> There's a sample called "You're Right," and then another one just called "You're Wrong." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. It sounded like a call and response thing. Oh yeah, let's try this. Yeah. Sure. That's cool. That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get an auto filter on here. That's pretty 
already sweet, man. Nice job. Um, this 15 thing isn't coming in properly though, and the 14 to 15 and 10 to 11 and 12 to 13 areas. Oh, sorry, 10 to 11 and 14 to 15 are sounding a bit empty. Mm. Mm. Well, there's no pressure to try to like write like a f something fully fleshed out or anything. Oh um, yeah, you gotta you gotta flesh it out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think, think about um trying to throw that bottle opener sound in there somewhere. What's that? What do you think about th throwing that bottle opener sound in there somewhere? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's probably like a fill somewhere, right? Or oh, actually, totally, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, we could just um loop that over the top of this thing. Um, you could do that, or you could uh, use it as a fill as well. Are they? What were the spots that you said sounded like they were a bit empty? Uh, 14 to 15 and 10 to 11, but th this could work pretty well over here maybe. Um, we line it up here and then try and quantize it. Huh, for some reason it decided. Let's just loop the first bit. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it actually might be better in the 10 to 11 area. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that works better too. It's a bit... Yeah, that's great. All right, let's put that there. Could this, this might be better not side chain? Hmm, no, it's better side chain. I think we need the uh, uh, lead thing on the second time around. Oh, but we need something. <laughs> Maybe we could just pick a different bit of this loop. This could be good over here. That's cool. I like, I like it, but nice. The harmonics are hitting well there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, maybe pitch those to be the bass bass line. Yeah, definitely. this down maybe yeah maybe EQ out the low end from my melodic to your sub that, uh, has room to do the thing yeah that's a good idea 
And this probably needs to be lower. I do like how that. Uh, do you like how that fill turned out at the end of sixteen? Yeah, it's nice. I think this fill needs to be different though, because it doesn't like come in properly. Oh right. Did you make any bases in this pack? Um, you mean like patches or? Oh yeah, you made patches. I haven't even looked at these. Um, I think oh, there there might be one base patch in there. I'm not sure. The it's the, the presets are definitely pretty like sparse. There's a, there's like a, a lead, a pad, um, a few kicks, that kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me just try one of these base stabs then. How long did it take you to make this pack? I don't really know, man. Um, I just kind of dinked around making various sounds for maybe three months or so, four nice. months. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Sounds cool, pitch down like that. That's dope. Do I stream on Twitch too? Yes, I do. Um, Mr. Bill's tunes is my thing. Yeah, we should plug your we should plug your stream here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stream on. I've been streaming on Twitch for ages, since like 2014. But I haven't, yeah, I haven't done it like consistently. Um, how good. do we? How do you know what is or isn't being side chained? Are they all? Everything is being uh, side chained. That's in this eight group. So I did, oh, okay. yeah, my mix template is basically just like everything that's outside the group is not side chained, and everything that's in the group is side chained. That's just how okay. I work. Yeah, and then I don't really group any further than that. That's literally how I define all my groups in my session is like side chained and not. Well, it makes it probably makes writing a lot easier if you just have two categories essentially. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we need to do some base design because you don't have a lot of bases here and then it needs more like interesting bases, I think. So we could yoinks. try, yeah, Get we the could, yoinks. yeah the let's yoinks. try yoinking out some of your bases here. Hey, um, is it possible to turn down the uh, Ableton volume just a little bit more? Yep. I think somebody said that it's potentially distorting still a little bit. Um, is there a limiter on the master, by the way? No, I could put one on. Yeah, that might that might help. There you go. Voila. All right, there we go. Bunch of yoinks. It's kind of good if it's distorting though, because that means like anyone who gets this track off the stream is getting like a shitty version of it. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, just in case like someone's trying to leak it or whatever. Oh. Not that anyone's like, oh, somebody did that once with a collab I did with Virtual Riot. Really? Yeah. That's must have been pretty frustrating. It was frustrating for uh, Ill Gates, not for me. I didn't mm. really give a shit. <laughs> Just 
Kind of cool. That is pretty interesting. Um, let's do some filtering. That's interesting. Do I have that could make this yoinkier? Uh, faked dynamics. Oh, this is a fun one. The god of yoinks. <laughs> That's Squanto. Yeah, he's the yoink god for sure. Kind of yoinky. Needs more audio, uh, audio what? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. I was just reading one of the comments. Let's get in there. Ander, who's Ander? I have no idea. Oh, I'm not sure. That's pretty cool, though. are absorbing so many uh, sound design tricks from you right now. <laughs> That's a bit of a yoink. good just yeah, needs cool. more like mids and then soft clipping uh, and then if we duplicate this we could make a different variation of it or oh, we probably should make a bunch of variations of it Try a different part of the sample. And then adjust these. A pretty interesting sound. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's create another variation here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like going into the woods with sound design, <laughs> like mid-session. <laughs> Camp out a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Do you ever um like press parameters like this and then just record yourself um uh like record the output? I do. Yeah, I do that a lot, but I always find I I come up with like too much audio and then it's like more of a pain in the ass to go through later kind of. Totally. So I've kind of gotten into the habit of just making good sounds that I actually want to use. Definitely. And I find I that it's just more productive. But yeah, whenever I get to something I like, I just sort of duplicate the channel and keep that. Mm. That's pretty cool too. sound a bit messy <laughs> it's just it could also just be fun to have those to play with in case they feel relevant oh that sounds good yeah that sounds pretty cool got that kind of wet tail thing mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got like four somewhat interesting sounding basses. Uh, I'm gonna freeze all these <clears throat> and then drag the audio into a new channel. Yeah, and then if you get the mix right on these and just fill it with this sort of stuff, it just sounds a lot more interesting overall. Yeah, the wetness on that it turned out really nice. Fan of the tail of that though. <laughs> kind of crazy that we've never had an in-person studio session. Yeah, yeah, we should do that sometime. Oh, this would be cool with echo on it. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, <laughs> like a dub out type thing. What the fuck? Why do I keep yeah. making new channels? Um, I'm going to head to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to do that in a sec as well. Dun, dun. 
<laughs> Just what this stream needs, more piss. <laughs> Everyone could hear you piss very clearly. You, wait, you could hear that? Yeah, yeah. If you read the um, the chat, everyone's like, "Ah, oh, just what this stream needs more piss." I don't believe that people could hear that. That would blow my mind. <laughs> yeah, it was super audible, to be honest. <laughs> what? Well, I, I'm pretty proud of my the sound of my stream. <laughs> my my pre stream is quite nice. I think, like, in terms of some of my best qualities, I'm, I'm a decent musician, but really, You're a great my peace stream <laughs> kind of uh, outshines that by a large margin. <laughs> Man, why is this so off to one side? It's a... Uh... That sounds pretty good. Oh man, I realized that we should we should definitely organize another like separate off stream session to revisit that track that we started like years ago because I actually still really like that song. <laughs> Beat music? I think that's what it was called. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, don't play more now. What? Why not? It's a secret. A secret tune? I actually don't. I don't remember what it sounds like. This song. Hold on, I'll play it while oh, I yeah. I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'll play it while I go to the toilet. Sure. Oh,
Dude, though, I don't think I've ever heard this car before. Oh, really? Maybe you worked more on it without me or something, but I like it a lot. Maybe, yeah. Oh, hey, um... Can, just out of curiosity, can you try opening that link I sent you in, in Discord and see if that... if you can hear me playing piano? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's like not even that much latency. <clears throat> Holy shit. Kinda cool. Yeah, there's like fuck all latency. I mean, it's like latent, but not as much as I would think. Yeah. Well, anyways, just kind of like a useful thing to have in case. Um, I don't know. In yeah. case. Yeah, yeah, just in case. All right, let's try and get this sound design working. I'm going to play it from the start, actually, see how this build up sounds. Yeah, it's sounding good. Uh, yeah, there's I a think, lot of energy in it. Yeah, I really think this needs a high pass filter on it though. Like, uh, you know what it really needs? It needs a little, a little bit of like. <laughs> That's what it needs. <laughs> Just with this, keep doing it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it in time. Man, I wish there was a way for uh, for the latency to be, to be compensated for somehow, um, but I don't think that's possible. Dude, that's so good. Just a snare all over <laughs> like a waltz. It's the dumbest shit. <laughs> Reverse into the downbeat is really nice. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I think this is sounding good. Yeah, man, thanks again for messing around with, with this stuff. Yeah, it's been fun. That's there. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just put reverb on it. I don't know. Oh, that's good. Maybe yeah, it should be on the one there. Uh, and then we could just duplicate this. It needs like a quarter note thing over the top of it. Imagine, imagine, have you seen those Neuralinks that um, uh, Elon Musk yeah. is doing? Yep. Imagine like somebody hacking into your Neuralink and just playing Walt music into your brain constantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty annoying. <laughs> just while you're like at the shops trying to buy milk. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be oh, especially annoying absolutely. if you're having a bad day, and, like you're in a bad mood, and then like you're being mocked by the waltz. <laughs> yeah, like you you're in like an argument with your spouse or something, and just in your brain you just hear this like <laughs> wom 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 like constantly. <laughs> We're talking. Yeah, that sketches me out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'd be the dumbest shit. <laughs> So it needs just like a wham 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 wham, um, like which I think sitting on, sitting on top to give it like a consistent. 
Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> oh, I could make it with the with this sound. I think. Wow! 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 It needs to just have like a. Uh, maybe this could work. It just shouldn't be yeah. so like funky sounding. <laughs> Might be a nice to find a portion that's... Are you looking for like a single pitch or do you like the slide in there? Uh, this would work. Yeah, just single pitch. Yeah. <laughs> the lick. We sh we could put the lick in as like the last phrase before the before the drop hits or something. Is it legal to use? <laughs> it's immoral, it's but legal <laughs> maybe. Okay. Let's get um M wave shaper on this. Wabi chopper. I like it the wabi chopper. Are you hearing it like on the downbeats, like wow, 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 like that? Or yeah, uh, yeah. So like double the speed that that is right now. So like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like kind of make it noisier esque or something. Like put a big neuro, like whoa, 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 underneath it as well. Yeah, that could, that could definitely be cool. Except this sound needs to be way cooler. It's too distorted, maybe. It <laughs> whoa, what is this? I've never seen this before. Curvature. Ooh. wave folder instead maybe is this melda yeah melda stuff is pretty cool yeah it's insane i love melda like multi band everything. Yeah. Well, that's interesting sounding. Sort of mm. like brittle. <laughs> it 
get, get someone to love you like Mr. Bill loves auto filter. <laughs> I do love auto filter. Alright. So now I might actually open Serum for the first time. Uh, I do want to look at your presets though. Let's see. Presets, Serum. There's only like six in there. Oh, uh, okay. The and they're all like kind of related to the samples associated. Kind of. Um, the Serum are just like a few kicks in mm -hmm. case people have interest in maybe getting a kickstart ha, on uh, doing a little bit of engineering in that regard. Um, I have a synth from one of my songs in there. Um, let me hear that. And then there's just a couple like generic like pads and that kind of stuff. Really wasn't sure what to go for um, in terms of like what category of things to dive in. So I just kind of did a little bit of everything. There we go. That's a... Uh... If I pitch that down, if that'll be a good bass. No, not really. Could be good with a little bit of reverb. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, maybe like um, every second one, like or something like that. Or um, um, there's this drum reverb I like a lot, the snare sizzle. Ooh, yeah, that sounds nice. good it just needs like a big like whoom, 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 underneath like a huge noisier whoom. style noisy wub thing but not like one of those classic sign erosion like day one internet neuro bases <laughs> Oh, this could be good. Let's use the Ellie Derp fat rack. I love this shit. This could actually um, be a switch over here. This could actually mostly, I think, just be the same as the first time around because it's kind of so mm. complicated that I don't think you'd, <laughs> you'd get bored listening to it two times. Mm -hmm. um, and then we could do a full switch here. Whoa, what the fuck? What did I just do? Hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, and then get rid of these things at the end of this one. Filter these in. Yeah, that patch you made is pretty cool. That sits on top of everything. <laughs> All right, and then Galaxy Brain Strats right here. Let's get um the riser. Where the fuck is it? Dude, what? Where did I put the awesome razor? Oh, here it goes. Uh, I should probably put this with the intro stuff. Man, this, <laughs> this session is so, uh, like, not organized. <laughs> this is <laughs> pretty much how all my sessions look. Um, all right. Do, so you, do you usually, like, do organization after you've kind of done a lot of the creative work? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do it. Track? Yeah, at, like, the end. Mm. Yeah, and then let's just get rid of like everything except for that original fill thing that we had. So. And maybe put like a vocal cool. there so it goes like switch and then bam. Okay, so what do we got? We got drop, we got build, we have um, drop B. And then we have the switch, which we're going to make here. <clears throat> and you, um, how much more time do you have just, uh... uh I have to go in like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, but I, cool. I could probably get like a little bit, I could get this transition done and maybe start the switch. Sure, yeah. I mean, there's, there's no pressure. This could be good to freeze and then have like a reversed version. On here, let's get pitch drop on here. Could put pitch drop on a bunch of shit here, actually. <laughs> Uh, I used to. I don't have it installed at the moment. Hmm. I actually prefer it without all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I could like work on this a bunch later. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know. The idea was just to, you know, for you to kind of play around with it if there's anything that catches your interest in the in the pack, so don't yeah. feel pressure to, to do anything specific with it. Yeah, the pack is great. Um, Thank you. Uh, I'm going to put some Vakoda stabs here. Some vocal. Yeah, I think I, I might, uh, for my next pack, maybe I'll try to dig deeper into some uh, three serum patches or just bass sound design. <laughs> Two. Oh yeah, the arm's <laughs> pretty good actually. <laughs> I forgot that was in there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 
What a weird sound. Maybe preserve the uh, the formant on it or something. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's better. That's cool too. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> All right, so the one here can't be as melodic anymore because you want it to be like very contrasted to the section before it. Yeah, maybe so. like maybe we can focus on some kind of rhythm there and uh, uh, some kind of rhythmic pattern instead. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to slam this sound with processing. Put utility after this, turn this on just for this section. And I want to mute just after this. It'd be funny if you forgot that you had that listen to link open and then I just started playing <laughs> piano during your meeting. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of these. Yeah, so I want this to be like super different from the section before. Yeah, totally. Uh, where's the sub? Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of like uh, 2010 dubstep or something. Yeah, it's the best shit. You told him maybe switch out the snare for something thicker as well there. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, switch the snare out. Um, yeah. Yeah, because that's I think there's. So. Let me um see. There's one snare in particular. I think that is it. Oomph snare. snare. <laughs> um, no, there's there's one from a loop that I don't think is in the individual shot. Uh. Yeah, oomph one. That'll that'll sound great. Yeah, yeah, throw that in there. Might be better with less like. Shaking. That was nice. And then, I actually liked how it sounded subdued there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably better. And then texture. And you can probably get like. You can probably go with some kind of a uh, more interesting rhythmic pattern since it's gonna be a bit more just bass sound design oriented for that section. Right? Yeah. Maybe something like that. <laughs> Add 
the occasional like eighth note or sixteenth pattern or something in there. Um, to the bass. Don't 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 or something like that. But. the notes there we go oh what is this oh, we don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you have a dog <laughs> that's kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> control <laughs> I love it <laughs> What do we pitch this down <laughs> That's fucked <laughs> All right let's just see if this switch even works uh, Sure We may it may even help to switch it up even more cuz it's almost still got the same kind of like patterns as before yeah. Yeah, it needs to switch more. It doesn't switch enough. Like, it needs to just build and just be, like, completely different. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, filter this in more. This needs to be probably brighter. Double time for one bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, maybe this, sh yeah, maybe this should be like double time there. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually kind of cool. Bass could be not double time, but the top thing could be so. It would be kind of interesting, actually. Citra just said, um, let the drums drop out for one bar. Like, that could be kind of cool for that switch up. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it could be cool. This is gonna be tough because oh, I guess yeah dun, 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 dun. yeah that makes sense. Oh, because the chord changes halfway through. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but that yeah, I think this will work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so just cut the drums here. So. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Cracks me up. It's on floor. It's just like so obnoxious. <laughs> I don't I don't like the double time one to be honest. It's like a bit too much. I like how the song has just progressively gotten more and more aggressive as yeah. the stream is <laughs> Um but then we could probably put the, the melodic tails back as well. So it's just really contrasted. Mm. Um yeah, so just take this and just paste it here so it's like <laughs> Holy shit. This is like kind of Skrillex vibes to be honest. Cuz it's got like the melodic switch ups with the aggression aggressive stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, and then we could put this one on the other bar so it's like And then we add the wall to the <laughs> uh, and then, <laughs> um, and it's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Little piano rhythm. A little piano, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what this needs. Read us this. We do to make this more. I'm gonna duplicate this and try and make this sound a little like just different. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, like that. Pitch is like it's kind of out of time though. <laughs> the amount of serum patches is like one. <laughs> I think maybe they meant like the processing, because there there's definitely a lot of processing happening in the, in the rest of the Yeah, true. I really like how that reverse flute sounds leading into that um kind of like G section writing of the chords. Yeah, it sounds nice. It sounds like ethereal, it's kind of sitting on top. Sounds a bit fucked up. Sounds kind of cool. Uh, this I've been loving this plugin lately. M convolution easy. So yeah. good. Just adds like nice little reflections to stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, like we should probably put this on it as well. It just makes it sound way bigger. Sounds messed up. All right, let's get rid of it. All. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's sick actually. Uh, this could actually be good if we took your drill and layered that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. Some foley could be interesting there. Yeah. Um, make sure to give me just a brief heads up before you need to go, so I can just make sure that the people know that the stream is. Uh, I should probably leave in like four or five minutes. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to stop working on this though, but I have to. No, it's alright, man. Um. <laughs> That's a uh, whack. Some was good when it was like the 16th. It's, it's like kind of pendulum style stuff or whatever. It's like so aggro that it needs to be less aggressive for sure. There's something about like overly aggressive sounds <laughs> that crack. Me. Yeah, what is it about this that's not working? Um, uh, well, I mean. Maybe it's got something to do with the pitch. I mean, if it's sitting somewhere in the background, it definitely seems to blend in a bit better. Um, The rhythm is a little bit off um, compared to the other stuff. Yeah, it needs to be like rendered and stuff. I'm just trying to get the tone right and then I can render it and get it in time. Or it could be because of this too. Should be 16th as well. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, I'll work this out later. Um, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. Cool. Thanks for, uh, thanks for jamming out with these sounds for a bit, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, as far as this stream goes, is this gonna be like up somewhere, or is it gonna just like kind of disappear after this? Or? Um, there's, uh, we could upload like clips of it or the entire thing if you wanted to. Um, okay, I didn't have a plan. Usually what I do is I upload streams that I do just onto my website for people who subscribe to it. Um, mm -hmm. So I could do that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could up upload clips too, I guess, if, if you want to do that as well. I don't know. We can talk about it. But um, Yeah, sure. We'll figure it out. Cool. But, um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and checking out the uh, what pill, uh, pill. <laughs> what Bill could come up with with a uh, sample pack. Um, pretty sweet, man. Thank you for, uh, 
for sharing that workflow with us. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, good, good pack. I'll um, I'll work on this more, and um, maybe I can send you the project, and you can work on it as well, and we can maybe turn it into a finished tune or whatever. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sick. All right, man. Have a good one. All right. Peace out. Later, guys.